Roswell Flight Test Crew here at Exponential 2019 in Chicago, the Windy City, the city of broad shoulders. And I'm here with Nick at Atlas. How are you doing, Nick? Not too bad. How are you? I'm doing good. Thanks. Now, I saw you guys at Innerdrone a year or two ago, and you're making a public safety burger and sort of thermal imaging, that sort of thing. Uh, but it's a tricopter, which I thought was intriguing. But now I'm catching up with you, and it sounds like you're almost sort of going beyond the aircraft. So what's new with Atlas? That's right, actually. So in terms of beyond the aircraft, we're building a new setup called the Nest. Okay, And this is a little bit more than just a drone in a box. A lot of people come up and mention that. But uh, basically what we have here is autonomous takeoff and landing. And inside the box, you have a robotic arm that will replace the battery and deploy the drone again in three minutes. Also inside, you have four batteries total. So that means you can basically fly all day long. So you see this working though in something other than just an individual operator going out and flying the drone. Right, right. So uh, a lot of people have so-called autonomous drones, but really we see that if you have to take a drone out of a box, put in a battery, set it up, add payload, all this stuff, it's not really autonomous, is it? So the future of drones is going to look a lot more like what you have in uh, Blade Runner 2049, where it sort of takes off, it does its own job, might even have voice commands pretty soon. Uh, and basically that's what you got here. Uh, it's a drone that will take off, do the boring mission by itself. So basically you can have it going off and doing things every hour on the hour, or you can just press a button, or if there's a, you know, some kind of sensor that gets tripped, there's a number of ways you could activate the Nest and have it completely useful. Now, how do you, as the end user, let's say the security supervisor at a nuclear power plant, how do you get the information coming back from the drone? Right, so we actually have a little bit of meshing technology involved here as well. Uh, so you could use multiple uh, drones to connect to one another and relay back to the Nest itself. Uh, or you could use uh, something like this, which is our relay module. Uh, that will give you Wi-Fi locally, so you could get it on your phone. Or you could plug it into Ethernet, and then you can have that distributed on your uh, like more powerful uh, data transmission system, whatever that might be. So you're doing a lot of things here like flying beyond visual line of sight, flying autonomously without a specific remote pilot in command. Um, and those things are really problematic in the U.S. from a regulatory perspective. So how is this going to fit in? Are you doing it elsewhere? So right now we're actually sort of building up our flight hours and honing the technology in the European Union. And uh, then basically it's, it's not a matter of uh, if, it's just a matter of when this is going to be available in the U.S. All right, excellent. Well, Nick, thanks so much for bringing us up to date with Atlas. Thank you. It's great to meet you. All right. And from Exponential 2019 in Chicago, this is the Roswell Flight Test Crew signing off.